and I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rocky. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. Good morning, day 12. We are on the top of the mountain. Almost, feels like it. Um, and close to our final resting place where we're gonna stay for the next 18 days. I don't know, they're all blurring together. Oh my goodness. I almost don't wanna go out there, look at them. I don't know if you can see this. They are mosquitoes everywhere. Heaters everywhere. Here goes nothing. Get that zipped up. Ugh.
There's one. Good size. Dang it. Aaron, he was right there. 40 yards. I laid down to find him and he's gone. All right, four shots, four gophers, four gophers for the stew pot. I'm gonna get those cleaned up and put them in there so we can go down and check on the fishuation. If we have gophers like this every so often and we can find some more spots like that, and we got fish down at the lake, we are gonna be set. Time to clean some gophers. I'm gonna skip this part so you don't have to see it. I wanted to clean some of my stuff so I could put my clean gopher meat into the my signal blanket that I use for stuff like this, fish and I haven't stopped moving. I haven't had a chance to do my laundry or Take a bath. This is way harder than Texas. This whole, oh man. All right, gophers are on. Woohoo! Gopher stew. Again. Again. Oh well. They'll eat. They'll eat. They'll eat. They even taste good. It's just, I don't know. How many can you eat? I mean, these ones will taste good, and they'll taste good with adobo. They're just small. It's a lot of work to eat them. I uh, still prefer the fish. Yeah. But um, they're okay. It's a good change from fish. Wow. Weather does not look good. Mountains are disappearing slowly. There were... There were other mountains over there. They're gone now. They're gone now. Cook faster! Cook faster! <laughs> Darn you fish, cook! Oh, it's looking so good though. Oh yeah. So far. We go sun's poking through I think it's temporary. 
Greg's being a Debbie Downer. Oh. He says it's temporary. If the sun's there, then it should be probably over there at the lake. If we were at the lake right now, we'd probably see the rainbow. Or we'd be getting really wet. One we'd be two. getting really wet. I, li I like catching fish more than I like popping gophers, I think. Oh, I like it, yeah. They're ground squirrels. Oh, yeah, they are gophers. Everybody calls them gophers. I keep thinking, I keep calling them woodchucks earlier. Yeah. Oy vey. I keep like you got one of my hairs in your band-aid or something. Ew, gross. <laughs> Is this the average size of a white fish, or are they? Um, Could... yeah, that's kind of average. They get a little bigger and sometimes smaller. Very plain flavor. Yeah, it's not as good as the trout. This whitefish is pretty normal, pretty plain. Tastes good with the wadobo. Tastes like it cooked up a little bit on the dry side. But I'm thinking, like Greg said, I smoke any of these fish. Excuse me. I like to talk with my mouth full, apparently. Uh-oh, here it comes again. Smoke anything, it tastes better. Alright, I had enough of that. I've been out there for uh, two and a half hours waiting for it to stop raining and just enjoying the and enjoying the rain. I don't know guys. I don't know. This has been a difficult challenge. This whole challenge. The shifting camps, the you know, the, the thin amounts of food, uh, the getting stuck up over the mountain, and then the fish being rather small up there. It, it was surprisingly tough. I mean, I kind of knew coming into the Rockies at this time of year would be a little hard since we're not here at hunting season. My goal in this whole thing is to see that I am established by the time we're done with bear safe shelters that we feel secure in and that from an area that we can venture out in and could continue to sustain ourselves until um well indefinitely but you know for now in the short term it would be until fall came you know if we were to stay hypothetically until fall came and we were able to you know get a deer and get it you know keep working your way up the food chain and uh and make yourself uh, secure for the winter. And yes, you could hammock right through the winter. I don't know if you want to hammock 20 feet up in the trees in the middle of winter, up in the middle of the Rockies where you couldn't, where it'd be 20 feet of snow, but um, after you harvest your fall game, that's when you pack it all out and you move to the lower valley or something, right? All right, game on. Looks like we got a window of opportunity. Yeah, get our gear, head down to the lake, see what the situation is. <laughs> Or down to the lake, I don't know. It's a little bit of up, a little bit down. Yeah. It's, it's mostly up. up. Uphill in both directions, this place here. Beautiful. All right, we're here, but we have a little ways to go. Around the corner, 
and then we'll be able to test the waters for fishing. I don't see any in here in the shallows, but that doesn't mean we won't spot some smaller stuff in there as we come close to the water's edge a couple times. But we need big stuff. That's what we need. So we gotta find big holes. Monsters. Monsters. Monsters, they're so heavy, it's hard to carry them back. <laughs> Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Greg spotted some big fish jumping, but I'm looking at this rock face up there. Look at that. It's like perfectly flat. It's amazing. Oh, my lens can't see far enough. The sun's hitting the other side. Oh, Greg's found the big fish. Nice! I'm coming! I'm just looking at all the resources. Make a raft. Paddle around the lake. Hit all the great fishing. This looks excellent. Excellent. Oh. We spent enough time here. We saw some grizzly poop on the way in. And uh, I'm guessing we'll be seeing some grizzly before too long. Oh, this is beautiful. This is worth it. What a trek to get here. So many days, so many miles. Unreal. Let's go catch us a big fish. Oh, got a nice one. There we go. Oh my goodness. He got off. Oh, what is that? Did you see the size of it? It's pink. Well, I mean, it's spawning. It, it's red. They're probably spawning. Oh my goodness. But regardless, we're taking them. Yeah. We gotta find some worms though. That was my second cast and I caught that. It must have been a three pounder. Oh wow. Yeah, I saw it. It was huge. I don't know if the camera could see it, but. Oh there's my goodness, there's like six or so of them over there. I'm moving over to that side. Oh yeah, I see them all over. Beautiful little pool. I don't see any fish in there though. But they were jumping over here. Oh, look at them. Holy cow. Just sitting right there. Each one of those. That's like two pound fish. Each one right there. Just sitting there. Let's rig up. All right, I'm all rigged up. I think that's a silver fox. I'm gonna try a dry fly, see how I can do. And they're still just cruising back and forth out there. Did you find a worm? No, you didn't. Oh, you oh. All right, attempt number two, a little streamer. It didn't like the uh, dry fly, so we'll see if we can make this do something. And get a little split shot down there. If not, I can always move to my telescoping pole and, and the old worm action. I just want to catch a big one on the fly rod. I think Greg's already up by two fish, so I got to get on my game here. Throw a big word at him. See, what, see if that does it. <laughs> at this point, I have no idea. I haven't had been here for more than a couple minutes, and I'm just throwing things out there. See what sticks. <laughs> we 
What do you think? Fourth time's the charm? I'd eat that. Alright, how about this guy? Lost count of how many flies I've tried now. <laughs> They're just hanging around. They're not interested in what we're dishing out. Greg's got... You got two? Yeah. Greg's got two, but now they're not following anything. Well, that stinks. I organized my stuff so well, and then the rain came, and then I reorganized it some more, and I literally organized it out of my backpack and left it right there behind at camp. I can't believe it. I just... I don't know. I, 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 ah. But that's okay. I mean, I feel like if I had dug around for a worm right when we first got here and they were biting, I could have had one. But instead I decided to mess around with the fly rod. But I, once again, I organized the flies that I wanted to bring and set them all aside with my tackle box for my telescope and pole and set everything and put everything that wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> Let's get back to camp. Greg's got two fish. I got four gophers today. It's not a loss. It's a learning lesson. They take up the whole signal blanket. These things are huge. Huge, I tell you. Look, we've even seasoned them already with uh, spruce with needles. With spruce needles. What do you want to talk about, Greg? Bears. No, uh, <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Of course, now I have the backpack on. Whoa. With the fish in it. With the fish in it. But you got the bear spray, so. Yeah. <laughs> so what you think, we'll gorge ourselves on fish and save the gophers for the morning? Mm -hmm. They'll be better if they stew overnight. That's a good rock for what I need. Uh, one will do. There's a good one. And that's a good one. I am collecting happy rocks. If you've seen me do this before, maybe you think you've already got it figured out what I'm doing. But you're wrong. <laughs> I've got happy rocks, but this time instead of putting them in my hammock to stay warm, because I have plenty of stuff to stay warm right now, with my underquilt and sleeping bag, I'm fine. Um, but these happy rocks are boot dryer and sock dryers. Heat them up in the fire and put them in my boots and in my socks. But if you do this, this thing is a very good way to ruin your boots. You gotta make sure that you can handle them so that they don't burn your boots. You don't wanna go and put your foot in your insert or your boot is like all mangled down in there. So we're gonna warm them up in the fire Drop them in my boots, my boots are soaked. These are expensive boots. I don't like them anymore. So I think we got it figured out. We found a spot halfway to the lake and halfway back to here. Well, that would, that would make sense, halfway to the lake. <laughs> halfway to the lake and halfway back to here. Uh, that uh, we're gonna check out tomorrow and see if we can't move in. I think we're gonna be pretty styling. And it's just big ones up. Yeah. There is some big ones in there. Yeah. Yeah, so I had a few big ones following. I had it I had two big ones on, but they got off. Yeah. So I just wish I didn't lose that pink lure. We have to locate it. Gopher stew is looking delicious. But they are very stiff still. <laughs> so they will soften. Put them on up. the simmer again tonight. Yeah. Maybe. This is like catfish big meaty. And catfish is my favorite thing in the world, but I think it just took number two to this. I mean, cause it's like as much meat as a giant catfish has, but, or a medium sized catfish, how they're just so meaty, but flaky, rich, fatty, tasting trout meat. Uh, 
All right, in bed. Whew, what a day. What a boon, finding those big fish in that lake. I can't believe there's so many big fish in there. I was starting to wonder, you know, question Greg's sanity. He's like, ah, oh, there's big fish here, big fish there. And we never find any big fish anywhere. We just find regular sized fish. And then, boom. Oh, wow. Tomorrow I won't forget my lures and the right stuff to go. I came back and I had packed my haversack with all the right stuff, but take it in the backpack. I, I just, uh, just a little bit, a little bit out of it. But I am full, full, full for the first time, I think. So I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Outler out.